Here we go, everybody in right here. Let's go. Here we go. Defense on three. One, two, three. Defense. We've got seven new players that are coming to blend in with six returning players. This group is a little bit ahead of where we were last year. Uh, being our second year, we've got some returners that are here and understand what we expect and demand from our team. Good, good. Try to do it on the defensive end, show some toughness defensively. Next, let's go. And certainly want to play fast on the offensive end. Turnover, hurry! Everything basically is up tempo, so whatever we do in practice is basically game like. So when you get in the game, it's just the same carryover. Hurry! It can get real intense. That just shows that you have competitive guys that's going to compete that's going to win. Good job. And that's what we have on the team. So it's, it's very important to have that kind of practice. Typical practice is intense. That's the way to chase it. Sometimes we butt heads because we're going hard. And you know, at practice, we're on different teams. The jerseys reverse sometimes. So we just go at each other. It's going to be hard. You're going to go hard the whole practice. We want you to do everything you Good can job, the best Pete. you can. Defense is a big key to our game. And no mistakes, really. So we try to preach that all the time. Chase it! we got to be mentally tough, and the defensive drill we worked on earlier, one group had to run more than the others because they didn't do what they needed to do defensively. But just a mental toughness, when you're fatigued, you got to still guard, you still got to play and close out the game. How many games come down to the last two minutes? Quite a bit in college basketball, so it's important to be mentally strong as well as physically strong during that time frame. Now you got to really dig in. Here we go. Coach Marlin, he's a humble guy, laid back. Um, if it's a tough situation and you think you're going through a tough time, like you want to break down, he's right there, just relax. He's the, the, the guy that motivates you. And catch that thing, you should better turn and go right up. He's very it. calm and collected. Doesn't yell much, but when he does, you know that he really means it. Um, but he's very hardworking and determined to lead us down the right path. You can have a two and a half. And I love that about you. Just try to give him confidence. We work hard and we put expectations on our guys. We want them to fulfill their talent and uh, overachieve. And that's what we're all about, trying to push them and yet give them confidence where they get it on their own and are able to take it to another level. Yes, yeah, so I try to do, just make sure I get better at something every day. Sometimes it might not be basketball, it might be a different aspect of life, but you just get better at something every day. Coach gives us a different thought of the day every day. Thought of the day is sometimes not even about basketball, it's just about life. Some of them like treat every day like it's your last. First impression, you only get one. I would like for you to write down your goals for yourself and this team. It can be up to three goals individually and then also three goals for our team this season. And I'm gonna tape those in your locker. And also, at one of your individual goals, I want your GPA for the end of the semester. Our program is one that uh, we're looking for good students uh, that, are, that are also good citizens that, that can play basketball as well. It can be done both in the classroom and on the court, and we want the guys to compete in the classroom. They're here to get a degree. They get one shot at it through their college years while someone else is paying the, the bills, and uh, they need to make the most of it. Now in a stance. Ready? Go. It's a drill we call links, where the guys run six, five links of the court at six seconds apiece and six second intervals. And they start on 30 and they all touch the line together on 30 and they run together while they run. Just try to get the guys to work all together and set the tone that, hey, we need to be together in offense and defense. A lot of people say we're like a family when they're recruiting and we actually feel like we are like a family. We try to prove it every day. Let's go bring it in. We've touched the baseball line before practice to end practice. It's something that I've always like doing with our guys. Little things like that I think make a big difference. This year we're so much closer than we was last year to start off. We're real close this year and I think they're gonna carry on to the court. To be honest, this is my first team where everybody actually got along. Like all of us are like brothers. So everybody got each other back. All right, Dave! We coach with tough love. Our guys, when they need to be coached hard, we, we get after them. But when they also need a pat on the back, we pat them on the back and encourage them. We think we have one of the best mid-majors in, in the Deep South, and we're excited about the opportunity to enhance this program and get to the NCAA tournament and make a run in the future. Let's be the team that screens better. Let's be the team that defends better. Let's be the team that takes care of the ball better. Let's be the team that rebounds better. And keep playing with the energy and, and togetherness you've displayed, and good things will happen. All right? Everybody in. Here we go, together on three. One, two, three, together. together.